Hi everybody, it's a Sunday, but it's still 9 o'clock and 9 o'clock is with me, Father Warner. We are in the second Sunday of Ordinary Time and the text today is taken from John chapter 1, verse 29 to 34, which I hope you'll read. And I've entitled today's teaching, uh, Sharing the Stage of Salvation History. Now, uh, the narrative of today's Gospel is part of events that took place over three days. If you look at your text, it takes place over, you'll see it verse 19, then verse 29, and verse 35. And at its heart is the person of John the Baptist. Central also to these texts are two sets of words. The first is testimony and the second is the Lamb of God. The choice of this text within its larger context seems to be as it were handing over of sorts by the one who was called to prepare the way for Jesus who is the way. Now it is John who gives us an insight into what the agenda of Jesus the way would be like and he does this by presenting Jesus as the Lamb of God both in today's text and again you'll see this in John chapter 1 verse 36. Now I think to a modern day Christian mind the Lamb of God would be easily accepted as a title that we use for Jesus but its deeper connections I think would evade us. Not so for the first century listeners of John the Baptist, they were Jews and when you said the Lamb of God they got what John the Baptist meant. So when John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God, he awakened a dormant memory that was embedded in the history of the Jewish people. You see, it was in the book of, of Exodus that the people were called to take a lamb and sacrifice it. Now John, John was pointing to Jesus, who is the lamb who would once again be sacrificed for them. And that's why he says, behold, the Lamb of God, not behold a Lamb to be sacrificed to God. This was the Lamb of God. But the idea, my dear friends, of a sacrificial Lamb was also prophesied by Isaiah in the 53rd chapter when describing the suffering servant as a Lamb who was led to the slaughter and as a sheep silent before its shearers. You will remember this is the text that we also hear on Good Friday. So John was presenting Jesus as the fulfillment of the prophecies. You see, this was the new Exodus and Jesus was the new Passover lamb. But John also presents Jesus as the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The world translated in Greek as cosmos. So Jesus is no longer the lamb only for the Jews or for that matter the lamb who takes away the sins of the church today, but the Lamb who takes away the sins of the cosmos, the whole world. He has come for all and therefore Jesus is to be shared by all. This sharing, my dear friends, is seen in John chapter 1 verse 36 where John points to Jesus for the second time and then the sharing takes place. Two disciples, Andrew and an unnamed disciple, follow Jesus. So where does this leave John? He embraces the second word that is integral to these texts. He is the testifier. You know, repeatedly in the Gospel of John, John testifies. The Greek word for testify is martyr. That he testifies that he is a, but a voice. He says that in verse 23. He says that he was called to see in verse 32. He says he was called to hear in verse 33. He was called to move from ignorance to knowledge, read verse 32 to 33. And he was called really to testify to Jesus, the Son of God. You know, the time, my dear friends, has come for the curtain to fall, therefore, on John's ministry. And he does this with no ill feeling. John, in that sense, becomes for all of us the example of letting go and letting God take over. His work done, his mission accomplished, he now lets the spotlight fall on the star of salvation history while he himself 
fades away in the wings. I hope this teaching helps you understand today's text. And may God bless you today, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll see you again tomorrow. We continue at 9 o'clock to study the Gospel of Mark as we slip in tomorrow into the second week of Ordinary Time. Bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel.